Today we are going to be using our paper mache paste to put a layer on our terracotta warrior that we taped up in class the other day. Um, I have some regular copy paper here, computer paper, and I also have some newsprint. We use a lot of newsprint in class, uh, but I found that this other paper works just fine. Uh, this can be applied to any paper mache project you're doing. It doesn't have to be a terracotta warrior in this case. Um, the principles are the same. You want to put a thin layer on both sides of that paper and just start in one spot. I'm going to start with the leg here, the foot. And that paper didn't go all the way, so the key here, again, for the this project and most of your paper mache projects is that you want to overlap these shapes. So I'm going to be generous here and put a lot over the first part and wrap it around so that that becomes a lot more stable. It adds a lot of stability to whatever form you're, you're working on for your paper mache project. Again, you just want to get paste on both sides Make sure it's nice and sticky and start overlapping the paper pieces onto your object. I'm just going to speed things up here so that you can see what this looks like as I go. Um, wipe things down, really smooth them out as you're going. Um, I like to keep a rag nearby so I can wipe my hands off every once in a while because you will get kind of sticky. And always building on where I have started. So now I'm going to build this other leg up. So I'm starting at the bottom and I'm going to work my way up to the head. Again, really smooth these shapes out as you go. Uh, wipe off any excess paste that might be oozing out from behind your paper. You can even use some of that glue, just kind of rub it around in areas you haven't put a layer on and you can just stick the paper right to it as long as you put another thin layer on top. There's lots of ways you can do this, but the key again is that you're overlapping this paper that you're putting on. That is for the overall stability. I want to make sure I'm covering every little spot. I don't want to leave too many areas open. Once this dries, it'll be kind of like a cast. It'll be this hard surface that I can then paint or use marker or dress up with some fabric. And it'll take about a day to, to solidify. So once you've completed your process of putting the paper on just check it out I'm putting a little bit extra pieces on here just to make sure I'm overlapping in some of these larger areas you can really add as many coats as you want the more layers you put on the harder it'll be so there we are just gonna check it out smooth things out oh I forgot the foot here I don't want to leave that open so I'll cover that with what I have left here. All right, there we go. Now you'll have to let this dry, like I said. So what you can do is just find a, another piece of cardboard or a piece of paper to lay this on. Uh, you might want to check it every once in a while and flip it over. Smooth it out. I 
As you can see, I got a lot of leftover glue here, but I might save it for another project. All right, here's the cardboard. I'm going to let it sit on here. I'm going to let it dry, flipping it over every once in a while. And as soon as it's completely dry, you can paint.